डॉक्टर राकेश नायर सर आई एम आई एम हिज बिग फैन मोर देन अ स्टूडेंट आई एम हिज फैन आई लव हिज लेक्चर्स इज अमेजिंग हिज कंसेप्ट हिज टीचिंग स्टाइल आई लव द मोस्ट एंड ही इज द प्राइम सोर्स how i got interested in studying medicine after taking lectures from him i used to be curious about things i really wanted to see how actually it works in real scenario because his lectures are designed as such not only would you be able to do well in your competitive exams but you would also be you would be you would also be able to see real patients like he is teaching his his uh, way of uh, like framing things on how to approach a patient whenever a patient comes with following symptoms or whenever we have following findings how do we analyze such scenarios and how do we think in what direction to go and what not and that's amazing and he also he also shares uh, anecdote from his ug and pg pg days days so it was really helpful and it inspires me a lot no doubt all the faculties are great i'm really thankful to everyone Dr. Ranjan Patel, Dr. Mac for radiology, Dr. Ila Jain, Dr. Rivika Jain, of course, no one teaches biochemistry better than him, than her. Also, Dr. Singaram. So yeah, thank you everyone for uh, uh, making my concept strong and clear my exam. Also, I would uh, like to thank Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, of course. his teaching is amazing and for surgery i think he is among the best faculties you can learn from he is an amazing person always ready to help students whenever we need him always conducts these live sessions whenever we need him the most also i would love to uh, thank uh, dr abbas ali sir great teacher um, i I learned a lot from him so maro was my primary source of preparation and i am lucky enough to have uh, found an amazing app online platform like maro i used to watch uh, videos first then after like 3 um, or 5 day 3 uh, or 5 days i used to solve uh, q bank for that topic and then i used to give one subject wise test like 10 to 15 days after that so in that way i used to uh, revise through q bank and uh, um, test subject wise test so it helped me a lot in remembering uh, all the facts and everything i watched uh, uh, abbas ali sir's videos and he talked about spaced repetition and i i believe it helps a lot so yeah if if you can do it you should try it it helps a lot in remembering things i to call the test that maro brought for fmg uh, like they brought uh, 15 questions test three or four or four or five of them i i give give uh, to them all also i uh, took the mock test that maro uh, brought for fmg exam uh, one more thing i would like to mention i uh, also utilized custom uh, q bank modules like uh, for a subject i would uh, if if i wanted to revise quickly i would do custom modules like i would solve 50 to 80 questions uh, 50 mm-hmm. 50 to uh, 75 questions at a time and it really helps if you want to revise something very quickly if you have free time if you are in your ward if you are, if you are traveling somewhere it can help a lot you you should try doing custom modules whenever you can it's really handy hello i'm dr shubham saket i am from Bhagalpur Bihar and I have graduated from Amma School of Medicine Philippines. I have cleared my June 2021 FMG exam in my first attempt with a score of 2257. Uh so Maro was my primary source of preparation and I am lucky enough to have uh, found an amazing app online platform like Maro. Uh so how I came across Maro um in my second year i uh, i was uh, looking for an online uh, platform for uh, um, preparing for fmg exam but i had this thing in mind that i cannot just prepare for fmg exam because uh, my indian friends um, who are studying in indian medical colleges they start preparing for neat pg while they are still in their undergraduate so 
I had this thing in mind, so I decided to trust Marrow. Although Marrow was pretty new that time, uh, and uh, everything was new, but I uh, trusted Marrow, and I I decided to choose it for my preparation. I haven't uh, attempted FMG before. This is my first time, and uh, for FMG, uh, I would say I I used uh, during uh, last four to five months. I used to study around six to eight hours daily. But I would say every everyone is different. Quantity is not important according to me. Whatever you can invest, just make sure that give your best. And what is important is you be consistent in your uh, preparation. There is no uh, such thing as uh, break day or uh, cheat day. You have to be consistent. There is no doubt about it. Uh, also uh, during my uh, last one month or so, I I uh, I. Uh, I gave like eight to ten hours of study, but I think everyone is different, and um, everyone should make the strategy according to their own uh, preferences and uh, capacities. If I look down, if I would have changed anything, I would say I, I would have probably taken Marrow earlier. But unfortunately, um, it. Uh, wasn't available that time and I also was not aware about online platform so I took it in second year uh, apart from that obviously uh, every, everybody uh, can improve if they look back at uh, at their <coughs> if they look back in, in the past uh, like uh, I would have uh, I should have uh, Read more standard textbooks. I don't know how much difference is it going to create, but I recommend everyone to go through standard textbook. Uh, yeah, that's it. How did I note down important uh, point from the video lectures? Uh, most of the notes I have uh, taken on my written on my own. Uh, I used to watch uh, videos at 1.5x initially and used to pause whenever I feel it was needed to and I took down, took down notes. Most of medicine I have written, I have taken down my uh, own note. So yeah, uh, uh, for some subjects, some uh, short subjects like uh, FMT, anesthesia, uh, of, uh, not of the, derma, ortho, I um, got marrow notes and uh, yeah i used to uh, read from them but i would still recommend everyone if you have time if you if you have time you should take down your own notes uh, uh, there's nothing better than than it it builds down your memory and you sometimes during the exam you remember that i have written that point on left side of my uh, um, page or something like that it does help so i would recommend everyone to take their notes if you have time but if you are short on time you can go for narrow notes no doubt about it it's very beautifully made made and with the fifth edition notes i i think it's just amazing it will definitely help if you are short on time uh, uh, also uh, i used to I, I didn't participate that much in marathon but sometimes I did some uh, few uh, QBank modules at a time. So yeah, uh, being consistent is the main theme here. So theme here. So I would recommend everyone to be consistent. Obviously, I am no one to judge any faculty. Obviously, they are the best in their fields. They are doing great. But if you ask me, I would definitely, definitely pick none other than. Dr. Rakesh Nair sir, I am, I am his big fan, um, more, uh, more than a student I am his fan, uh, I love his lectures, he's amazing, he, his concepts, his uh, teaching style, I love the most and he's the prime source how I got interested in studying medicine. I mean, um, after taking lectures from him, I used to be curious about things. I really wanted to see how actually it works in real scenario because his lectures are designed as such that not only would you be able to do well in your competitive exams, but you would 
also be you would be you would also be able to see real patients like he is teaching his uh, his uh, um, his uh, way of uh, like framing things on how to approach a patient whenever a patient comes with following symptoms or whenever we have following findings how do we analyze such scenarios and how do we think in what direction to go and what not and that's amazing and he also he also shares uh, anecdote from his uh, UG and PG, PG days, days so it was really helpful and it inspires me a lot no doubt also I would um, like to thank Dr. Rohan Khandelwal of course his teaching is amazing and for surgery I think he is among the best faculties you can learn from he is an amazing person always ready to help students whenever we need him always conducts these live sessions whenever we need him the most also I would love to uh, thank uh, Dr. Abbas Ali sir great teacher um, I uh, learned a lot from him I have been following him on YouTube and I watch whatever videos he uh, he posts there and really uh, he gives some amazing tips to crack any exam be it FMG, NETG, INICT, whatever all the faculties are great uh, so uh, yeah, I'm really thankful to everyone Dr. Ranjan Patel, Dr. Mac for radiology, Dr. Ila Jain, Dr. Rebecca Jain, of course, no one teaches biochemistry better than, than her. Also, Dr. Uh, uh, Singaram. So, yeah, thank you everyone for uh, uh, making my concept strong and clear my exam. Marrow webinars are a great initiative from Marrow, and I would be really I would really like to thank them for this and Dr. Rohan Kandelwal conducts amazing sessions uh, also sometimes Dr. Abbas Ali also conducts sessions so I used to watch all the webinars and yeah during the phases when I used to doubt myself or I was not sure about my preparation every time they used to come up with uh, webinars like that and I yeah it really helped me a lot motivated me a lot so I, I'm really thankful for that. So my strategy for this exam was pretty simple. I, I like I said before, I started to, I thought of uh, preparing early uh, because uh, I knew that uh, preparing early would, would give me some edge over my uh, counterparts. Maro not only helped me uh, prepare for this exam, but it also helped me do well in my uh, undergraduate college exams so uh, frankly in my uh, undergraduate days uh, I was not mainly focused on uh, preparing for FMG exam but I focused on learning medicine the best, best way I could so I utilized uh, other uh, online resources like up to date and other YouTube videos but Marrow was the prime source of course uh, uh, regarding my uh, UG days I uh, apart from uh, first year subjects like anatomy, physiology, biochem and second year like gen pharma and general uh, pathology I, I uh, did not read standard textbooks in that much detail so that itself uh, uh, tells us how wholesome marrow is marrow is everything so and the, during undergraduate days, I did not have any difficulty in clearly clearing my concepts. My faculty at my college was also good. That helped me a lot. I used to take down uh, notes while watching Marrow videos, and I used to correlate things, diff different subjects, integrate uh, them, and uh, learn in an integrated fashion. Because the course curriculum in my college was also. Uh, integrated one uh, they uh, uh, they teach us uh, uh, system wise um, system wise not like uh, 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 subject alone they take uh, cardiovascular renal and they uh, integrate all the subjects together and they teach so, so it helped me a lot uh, and it helped me 
keep in touch with the latest trend of questions uh, which is moving towards the end, which is moving more and more towards the integration uh, inti- integrated fashion of learning so it's a good thing if you ask me specifically for fmg exam uh, i would say i started preparing for it specifically uh, like five months before the exam uh, i i had watched quite a few number of videos during my undergraduate days only like medicine and medicine ops kinepedia uh, patho all the basic sciences i did during my undergraduate days so i didn't have any problem while i started preparing for fmg exam so uh, i could uh, i could finish all the, sh- the remaining short subjects in a uh, short amount of time uh, so during my 5 months of preparation for fmg exam i uh, read notes for around 2 2 to 3 months and la- during the last 2 months i switched to rapid revision videos of narrowly which is really helpful if you have if you have already watched all the lectures or if you have watched substantial amount of lectures uh, from the original videos then you can go for rapid revision during the last uh, last few months before the last few months of exam so yeah rapid revision was really helpful and i during the last 5 months i used to solve around 50 to uh, 60 questions initially but during the last uh, one month or so i i used to do around 100 to 120 questions from maro q bank only and uh, uh, it's 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 uh, Uh, actually it was quite helpful maro also uh, brought fmg dedicated plan at the last moment so the q bank helped me a lot q bank and video lectures helped me a lot i also took maro grand test uh, during my uh, before my exam and i scored 211 during the mock test so yeah that was basically uh, what i did for my fmg exam so i would suggest all the students to start early uh, focus on building your concepts learn medicine well do not uh, just blindly uh, uh, go on mugging things be curious about things be curious about what you see in your uh, wards or whatever cases you come across read about them in detail that will help you a lot and i had an amazing amazing um uh, group of friends which helped me a lot during my uh preparation we used to discuss a lot we used to utilize everything like zoom meetings or whatever we could we used to discuss over the cases we used to give each other cases to present so yeah be curious be uh, very uh vigilant about your learning don't uh, just um trust any single source whatever uh, whatever you find anywhere just utilize it for your learning uh, nowadays it has become very 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 easy for students with online platforms coming in it, it is a big revolution for students who are studying abroad because earlier we used to miss on important things during our undergraduate days we were not that much aware that what our uh, friends in india are learning or what they are uh, preparing how they are preparing but with online platforms like maro everything has changed now and i believe uh, the future uh, students will do better than me and we will we'll see more a higher uh, passing percentage from fmg students and with next coming in uh, i think maro is well prepared uh, with their course and with their Uh, style of teaching their uh, their way ahead when it uh, comes to their uh, their offering for uh, next examination so i think students can students should go for maro i, I would recommend maro to everyone also uh, i would obviously like to uh, thank god thank my parents my um, mom and dad who have been a constant source of um, support and motivation for me they have been through my journey uh, all through my sister 
who has been supportive and i would i would like to thank my brother also uh, he he uh, right from the beginning only he uh, gave me all the resources that he he had and it really helped me a lot build build my concept strong i would like to thank my friends they have been really supportive uh, i would like to thank dr puni sardana shorya mayur jagradika everyone dr kinna everyone who uh, who was in my friend circle and also who was not there but have been uh, constant support to me so they have also done well in their exam all of them they have scored around 230 all of them family and friends they play an important role uh, whenever we are going through a low phase uh, so they are, they are there for us whenever we need them so yeah and given the current situation around the globe with the whole pandemic thing and all it's bound to happen that people are more stressed and they are more anxious so yeah family and friends played a major role uh, also i would like to thank my faculty at ama school of medicine dr santa mina and also dr pedro so all, all the other faculties are also great they helped me a lot during my uh, undergrad days they helped me whenever i needed them they guided me they helped me build my concept so yeah thank thank i'm thankful for them also in handling anxiety and stress so i i would uh, suggest to uh, start early which is the key start uh, uh, focus on your uh, building on your concepts be curious about things be uh, always in a mood to learn everything new each day it it all really counts uh, i remember i i used to uh, learn something random from internet or some, some somewhere but um, i used to see them whenever i do to uh, used to do q bank or whenever i used to take any exam everything comes handy when, when uh, you have that attitude of learning something new every day and i think medicine as a field demands that uh, you have to be curious you have to be always proactive in learning there is no substitute to that whatever source you want you follow follow that and uh, just to give give your best we are not dealing with machines uh, we are de- dealing with actual humans so you have to put in all the efforts all the everything you have you, you have to put in there is no substitute to it and you have to be honest to your uh, profession so yeah right, right mindset starting early doing right things at the right time uh taking breaks small breaks uh, whenever you need them uh during the last 4 5 months just uh, go through your notes uh, one once or twice or go through your notes once and revise it through uh q bank and test series once or twice uh, complete do your uh, rapid revision from marrow and give tests that's how you are going to uh, crack any exam no be it fns or any other exam So yeah that's my advice to my juniors and freshers so thank you maro uh, i would like to thank you once again for helping me out through my preparation and i am really blessed and lucky to have found such an amazing platform and also lucky to have such an amazing family and friends around so yeah i would like to thank everyone and wish all the future as aspirants very uh, all the best and uh, may you all succeed in whatever uh, in whatever uh, exam you set or whatever you do in in your life so thank you